Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com in the topic of Newton's Laws called Change of State. So the basic idea of this uh, is you're going to get a description of some kind of motion and the forces that are causing it. And then there's going to be a change in those forces and you have to describe or change in the motion and you have to show what changed in the forces. OK, so first of all, just let's review Newton's first law. An object will maintain its current velocity unless an unbalanced force acts on it. So if, if it is moving at a constant velocity, all the forces should be balanced. If it is um, accelerating or speeding up or slowing down or changing direction, it should have unbalanced forces. OK, so some force has to be uh, bigger than the force opposite it. Then also you're going to need, need to be able to recognize the types of forces. We're going to be using some symbols, but the types of forces are all described in the recognizing forces video, which you'll see linked here. So there are only two levels, the master and wizard level. I took one sample problem from each one, more or less. I've changed it up a little bit so you get to think on your own for all of the problems that you see. Um, and so here we see a disk is moving leftward. It's important to recognize that the velocity is to the left. Okay. Across a no friction air table, you'll notice there's, there are not any forces of friction in the horizontal direction here. Uh, a no friction air table. So it's like an air hockey table where the air is blowing the puck up. That's why we see air resistance pushing up. Uh, the force diagram for the state of motion is shown on the left. In this case, it's on the right. Um, what will the force diagram look like if the air is turned off? Okay, so if the air is turned off, we'll no longer have a force of air resistance pushing up. Um, and this leftward moving disc is in a state of slowing down. If you've ever had an air hockey puck going across a table, air hockey table without the air on, it slows down fairly quickly. Select a force diagram from the choices provided on the right. Uh, we're just going to draw the force diagram here um, in the actual concept below. You'll have choices. So the first question we want to ask ourselves is, is this thing going to accelerate down? Because if so, then this would be the only force. Otherwise, there has to be something pushing up to balance the vertical direction. And since there's no longer any air resistance, that must be something else. Well, this puck is resting on the air, air table. So there will be a normal force. Sometimes it's just a capital N. Other times you'll see the whole thing written out. We'll write it all out for now since we're fairly new in looking at this. Okay, so the normal force is pushing up and gravity is pushing down now that there's no longer air pushing up on it. Okay, and the object is moving towards the left and it's slowing down. That means there must be a force in the opposite direction making it slow down. Um, there could be a small force the same direction is going and a bigger force the other direction. So either one would be possible. But in this case, I can't think of any forces that would be pushing this uh, to the left, the direction it's moving. But pushing it the other direction, there would be the force of friction. Okay, so the force of friction would be pushing it that way and that would make it slow down. Once again, because it's moving to the left, we knew there had to be a bigger force to the right than to the left. In this case, there was just a force to the right. There was no force to the left. Okay. One other thing I want to mention while we're here, because this is pertinent in other questions, you see the uh, line right here. This line means that this arrow is two segments long. The downward arrow is two segments long. That's how we can tell at a glance that they are the same length. If one of these was bigger, then you would see two lines, and that would be three segments long. All right, let's move on to the master level, uh, a wizard level. Uh, so uh, the wizard level has all the ones from the master again. It's just got some new ones in it. Um, a skydiver is falling downward. Okay, it's always important to recognize what direction this is moving. So our velocity is down. Um, 
at a constant speed. So notice it's at a constant speed. That means all of our forces are balanced, which we see in the picture here. The force diagram is shown. What will the force diagram look like if she reorients herself and is in a state of slowing down? Okay, so she was like, you know, arms at her side, barreling down, you know, like in Mission Impossible to try and catch the person below her. And now she's caught up to them. So she spreads her arms out and she hits a lot of air or maybe she pulled a parachute. Who knows? Um, but she re or it says she reorients herself and is in a state of slowing down. So if she is moving downwards, the velocity is downwards and she wants to slow down, that it better mean that the force, that the unbalanced part of the force is going to be upwards. We could call that the net force, but I haven't introduced that in my classes. So if you've heard that, the net force is up or the unbalanced part is up, the bigger force is up. So then the question is, first of all, there's nothing that seems like it's going to be pushing sideways here. So we'll leave the right and left forces blank, just like they are now. So as she reorients herself, when she reorients herself, does she make gravity smaller or does she make the air resistance bigger? Okay, because we know that the extra force has to be up. So let me just draw both of those options. She could make the uh, gravitational force smaller like that, or she could make the air resistance bigger. Either of these two options has a net force up that would cause it to slow down. But the question is, which of them would really happen? When she changes the shape of her body, when she reorients her body, does she weigh less? That'd be a great weight loss technique, but it doesn't really work. Okay, you can't just lie down instead of stand up and you weigh less. Okay, um, you still weigh the same amount. So that means that this one here must be our answer. The, the She re-earns herself, which makes her hit more air. So the air resistance is bigger. And therefore there's a net force up, which causes the object to slow down. All right, so the key here is just read carefully what's going on, see what force is changing, and in particular, what direction is it changing? So slowing down, we knew it was moving down. So to slow something down that's moving down, there has to be a force upwards on it to keep it from going down as fast. Um, and so then you're looking for how to make that direction bigger. Either you're making it bigger or you're making the one opposite smaller. And so just pay close attention. Again, if you aren't familiar with some of these like F air or F grav, go ahead and look back at that video that I linked earlier and have fun puzzling them out, thinking about what's going on and choosing your free body diagrams. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments below. And we'll see you the next time on Scientific Adventures of Beardman.